Lithuanians to form human chain from Vilnius to Medininkai in solidarity with Belarusians. Here's a summary of the article. Vilnius, a human chain called the Freedom Way will be formed in Lithuania from Vilnius to Medininkai on Sunday in solidarity with Belarus civil society fighting for democratic changes in the country. Freedom is not only a fundamental human right but also a nation's fundamental right. It's also a daily commitment to defend it from any attempt on it by those who would replace freedom with darkness, oppression and sphere. Thirty years ago Lithuania broke its shackles of oppression by forming the Baltic Way with its Latvian and Estonian brothers and showing the world that we are free and, first of all, free in our spirit. Today, time has come for our Belarusian brothers to say the dear word freedom, Lithuanian President Hitanas Norzida says. Zivil Tiskovicute, head of communication at Lazvez TV that's behind the campaign, says some 50,000 people plan to join the Freedom Way on August 23, on the anniversary of the Baltic Way that took place in 1989 when over a million people formed a human chain spanning Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia to demand an end to the Soviet occupation of their countries. The Freedom Way will stretch 32 kilometers from Cathedral Square in central Vilnius to Medininkai, a town close to the Belarusian border. An air balloon will take off from Cathedral Square and take a 15-meter-long Belarusian flag into the sky. The Freedom Way will be then followed by a Concern and TV marathon in the courtyard of Medininkai Castle and collected funds will be given to the Buy Help organization that's been helping injured, detained and persecuted Belarusians and their families since 2017. The Lithuanian Catholic Church is inviting all people of good faith to join a Sunday prayer for the people of Belarus. This post received a score of 37,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. How far is it? About 30 kilometers. 30 million millimeters. 3 billion micrometers. 3 trillion nanometers. 30 trillion a. 3 quintillion fm. I never realized fucking minuscule was an official metric unit. My girlfriend is a scientist and she used this measurement before. Man, that's below the belt. To everyone wondering what the point is, as the article explains it's a throwback to the Baltic Way of 1989. It was a peaceful protest against Soviet rule where citizens of Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia linked hands to form an unbroken chain across the three countries. At the time, it was a very powerful visual that raised the country's grievances to a higher international level and established their solidarity, humanizing and accelerating their struggle for independence, and Lithuania was able to successfully declare independence seven months later. It has inspired other acts, including the human chain last year protesting against the CCP in Hong Kong. That is so beautiful. The idea that by holding hands with someone near, known, you are simultaneously also holding hands with thousands you don't know but that are someone else's neighbor, friend. We truly are all connected. I wish it could be reproduced on an even larger scale, to remind us of that today as well. It's not so beautiful when you think about the repercussions of this reality. The worst case scenario is either Russia or Eastern European countries rushing into the country to keep Russia from taking more land in Eastern Europe, something which they did in 2009 in Georgia, and again in Ukraine not that long ago. It's a nice gesture, but there is a very real possibility of this devolving into lines on a map moving. The real question is how Belarus can maintain its sovereign borders without foreign troops driving in or Lukashenko committing mass murder. Not guaranteed, and the reality is what? Continue to live under a fucking dictator who has no regard for the human rights of his people. Hey I hope the guy gets struck by lightning. It doesn't mean that the cost of revolution in Belarus won't be bloody. The people of Belarus have decided that's it's worth the price, who are you to tell them otherwise? It's kinda their thing. Restore the Commonwealth. Ah yes the PL Commonwealth. A state where Lithuanians, totally, weren't oppressed. Come on man it was tolerant of a lot of cultures let's just call it Poland cause it's short and sweet. My Mons Franz Ferdinand would have created an Austro-Hungarian federation of equals between all minorities within the nation, f in the chat for what could unironically have been the best hope for permanent Balkan stability pensive face raised back of hand. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.